Welcome everyone for uh, uh, the demo on the idea that we had for the recent hackathon. So the idea uh, of uh, what we have what we have implemented is based on this device Amazon Echo and uh, Alexa as a platform where uh, we are actually trying to do a few things. So I have written everything here. So what we are trying to achieve here is basically place a sales lead using uh, the Echo device. What it does is actually you can check for nearby decisions based on safe, look for any offers, check inventory based on model, uh, and a personalized email will be sent to you after uh, you know completed the interaction. You can check for any status on the lead, and uh, you can also check for uh, any uh, like you want to send an escalation email. The dealership you can do it. So that's one part. Other uh, important part is service lead. Sitting at home, book a service lead uh, using. Uh, Amazon Echo, uh, so you can book a service appointment, you can check for updates on the service appointment, and you can also send escalation email if you do not get if you did not get any response back. So I'm gonna show a demo on this part, and uh, I'm gonna turn to this part where I'm gonna show a high level uh, um, architecture diagram on, on how it works. So we have Amazon Echo, we have Amazon Skills Kit, we have AWS Lambda. Uh, basically, this Amazon Web Services Cloud, we have no days, uh, no days app uh, in here, and we also have a uh, remote application service as Daily. So it interacts with a lot of other internal view service, uh, I mean, a CDK API. Like, for example, CDS we use to get the uh, distance from dealership for the, the, the meeting. So all this information is sent back and it runs track with this model that we have ordered. So moving back to demo, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, have a demo with this device. So let me quickly start. Uh, Alexa, ask Corcom to find Honda dealers. Okay, before we start, could you let me know your zip code? Zip code is 98104. List of dealers, close to you. Option one, Honda of Seattle. One miles from your location. Option two, Lake City Power Sports, seven miles from your location. There is a special weekend offer, valid on new and unregistered Accord sedan models. Option three, Automation Honda Seattle, 10 miles from your location. Please select an option. If you want more dealers, just say, need more. Option one. Okay, what are you looking for? Model is Accord. You have three cars with the dealership. Please find few cars which may interest you. Option one, new car with price, $25,367. Option two, used car with price, $12,345. Option three, new car with price, $25,896. Now, do you want to contact dealer? Yes. Okay, before I send, I need some information. Can you tell me your name, please? Name is John. Thanks, John. Can I have your contact number, please? 996643-4277. Thanks, John. We have sent a message to dealership. Someone from dealership will contact you. Thanks for using Carcom skill. Have a nice day. Okay, you can see here, uh, it has been sent. Uh, it's basically Honda Accord model. The name is shown. It sends the contact information as well. Just to show high level uh, what we need. So, this, this is the information that we have made. So, now we are done with the uh, sales lead part. We also have other things that we can do. Like, for example, check status uh, by asking Alexa if, if it happened on the lead. Uh, for example, uh, Alexa, ask Corcom to get updates. There are no updates on your request at this moment. Please check back after some time. If you want immediate response, send message to dealership with your message. Okay, so we saw like we can also send a message. So, but I'm gonna cover all that in part of service view. So we'll go ahead quickly and try to book a service appointment. Uh, so I'll ask Alexa to 
Alexa, ask Corcom to book a service appointment. Okay, John, is your car model Honda Accord the preferred dealer Honda of Seattle? If yes, just say okay, or else say, for example, change model to Civic. Okay. Could you please let me know appointment date, please? Tomorrow. Refer time, please. 11 p.m. Service request has been sent to dealership. Someone from dealership will contact you soon. Thanks for using CarCom. Have a nice day. Okay, uh, so we can see here uh, another service request has been sent. Uh, basically, it has uh, information about uh, the appointment date and time. It's 8, 12, 16, 11 p.m. Uh, so, uh, you can see I did not repeat, uh, I did not repeat again uh, uh, my name and my car because it already knows because I must interaction. So I can change it again. Uh, so that's about it and uh, uh, you can see the uh, appointment has been sent. So what we do now is I check for updates whether my appointment uh, is confirmed or not. So I'll ask Alexa if my appointment is confirmed. Alexa. Ask Corcom to get updates. There are no updates on your request at this moment. Please check back after some time. If you want immediate response, say message to dealership with your message. Message to dealership, contact me immediately. Your message has been sent to dealership. Expect a call back soon. So what I'm trying to do here is uh, to send a message asking what happened with my appointment. Uh, so basically, a uh, message will be sent to the dealership. You can see it uh, near to here. So I'm going to show it uh, because it's going to take some time to see it. So, for example, it will be presented. We have a personal message from the John at the CCP ID and asking to contact uh, him immediately. So, this is uh, one of the uh, uh, skills that we have. So, now we'll see uh, if appointment is set, whether I'm, I'm able to see if the appointment is confirmed or not. So here uh, what we have done is Pushpa has uh, set the appointment. So now I'm going to ask uh, Alexa uh, to see if uh, service appointment is... Uh, Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. The service appointment is in. So it's going to take like a few seconds before it goes into uh, lead services from where we go. Uh, so uh, in the meantime... Uh, Pushpa, can you check his email? Yeah. So you can see here, uh, this is one of the points here uh, where uh, go back. Uh, so, so you can see uh, once I completed uh, the first transaction about CSD, mail will be sent. Uh, giving the information about the card that they have, uh, the Cobalt website and uh, basically steps to check uh, the finance option or basically it is our Cobalt and Leader. So this email is customized for the, uh, the particular person because he is looking for Mundar card. So this is what we will go back. Okay, so let's see if I ask uh, Alexa if we got uh, any updates on this. Alexa. Ask Corcom to get updates. Sorry, something went wrong. Alexa, ask Corcom to get updates. Service appointment is confirmed. Please make sure you reach the dealership on time. Thanks for using Corcom skill. Have a nice day. Okay, we can see uh, once the service appointment is set, here I get a confirmation back. So I can check in that way. Uh, so, this is all I have uh, for this demo. So, I'm going to showcase about uh, both the, uh, the ad, uh, what what advantages we have when moving to the new platform Alexa. Basically, it's like, uh, it's a new platform for us. I mean, I'm not sure how many uh, people have entered into this platform uh, working uh, on uh, the uh, software services side, so sorry, services to uh, car dealers. 
So the first point that I have here is uh, we have like three million plus users, I mean growing users, so who are using Alabama Echo. So we have a uh, big market. So it's a new thing. I'm not sure if anyone is there who can um, uh, where we can book a service about that. So get to see uh, the dealership inventory from Alexa. So that's one thing. And second thing is we can build a customized solution for OEMs. For example, we can build a solution for Honda. Uh, we can call it like Honda.com and, and build a solution where uh, you know, all the Honda uh, vehicle users can use this to book uh, service appointments and maybe order parts uh, also uh, from home. And uh, we also have the other part, uh, the integrated tool uh, from solution on Alexa platform. So for it, we have like a lot of services that we have built in CDK which can be used across. So, so we can build an integrated solution where we have uh, services like CDS, lead services, uh, lead services like CRM, uh, connected cars, get the inventories uh, using inventory APIs. Um, and a lot of possibilities are there. Connected cars is one interesting thing where, uh, where you can, uh, using connected cars, you can get the information even about the car that you're driving uh, and also do a number of other things using all the services. So that's one thing that I suggest that we can go ahead and build and uh, it will be useful. And uh, the other last point that I have is we can actually build a, a product uh, in uh, partnership with Amazon which uh, can be plugged into uh, the, any used cars. I know that new cars like for example BMW and Ford are working on this uh, Alexa platform to build uh, the solutions and integrate them into cars. So those will be the new models. So for existing models, you can build a product, a small tiny device which you can plug and play, plug it into your car and uh, you can have access to the other services that we build. So that's about it. Uh, so, so it's a very interesting and new platform, it really helps and uh, 